Hey guys, this is Character Coaching. I'm Joe. For those of you that don't know, what I do is I work with athletes on their mindset in order to help them to improve their performance and help them to reach their goals quicker than what they would have done if they hadn't have used my service. And today I'd like to talk to you a bit about golf and golf psychology. And the reason that I've chosen golf is because it's a really mental game. As you can see at the top level of golf, it's really obvious when players are able to perform and thrive under the pressure and when athletes bottle it and capitulate. And one example of when someone is able to thrive under the pressure is Jordan Speed, who has continuously won and done well in major competitions despite only being on the scene for three or four years. And then you can look at a contrasting figure such as Sergio Garcia, who's been in the game for a long, long time and has always had really high expectations that he's going to be great within golf, but he's still not won a major. And I think the answer to that question as to why is that the case is to do with mindset and psychology and the way that they're approaching their sport. So for me, mindset and, and beliefs can be really important, but I think the most important belief is the one around ability and talent. Do you have a fixed mindset? Do you believe that you have a certain amount of talent and ability and there's not much you can do about it? Or do you believe that you've got some talent in certain areas, but you can always grow and develop depending on how much hard work and um, commitment you put into it? And the, and the way that you have your shape your beliefs will have a massive impact on the way that you think and the way that you act, as I've talked about in my previous videos. But I want to make it a bit more specific to golf. So one limiting belief that you may have within golf is that you can't play um, in the wind very well. And then you're going to be thinking, your thoughts are going to reflect your beliefs. So you're going to be looking for for things that confirm your belief. So you're looking at your previous failures playing in the wind, looking at in the future where it's gonna go wrong. And as a result of that, when you're over the ball, you're gonna feel more nervous, you're gonna have more nervous energy, you're gonna be having these negative thoughts as well. And that's ultimately gonna to lead to you fluffing your lines and not performing the shot to your greatest capabilities. And that's, a, that's again gonna confirm your belief that you can't play in the wind. In, in, in contrast to that, you might come in with a growth mindset. You might believe that you can always develop and always um, get more competent. And as a result of that, your thoughts might be much more likely to be positive and you're more likely to accept situations. So you're going to be over the ball. You might be looking on positive experiences that you've had within the wind. Or you might be looking at um, times in the future where you want to you visualize yourself playing well in the wind and shooting shooting good balls and as a result when you're over the ball you're much more likely to be relaxed and confident because you know that if it's successful it's great but if it doesn't go well then you can improve and you can learn how to do it better so there's a lot a lot more acceptance and relaxation when it comes to approaching it with a growth mindset and so i want to kind of wrap up what we've talked about today and I want to give you three tips to help you to improve your mindset so firstly you need to work on your beliefs what what are your beliefs and how do they serve you or how do they limit you because you want your beliefs to serve you as I've said before when you believe something you look for things that confirm that belief so if you want positive stuff you've got to change the belief first so that's that's beliefs Second tip I'd like you to think about is staying in the present. So it, whether that's in golf or anything else, what you want to try and do is make sure that you're staying in, in the present and not dwelling too much on the past or looking too far into the future. So one way you might do that in golf is by talking to your partner, taking in your surroundings, just generally having a good time, having a laugh and joke. And that comes down to my, to my third tip which is to stay positive and enjoy it. At the end of the day, you're there to, to enjoy it. You're there because you have a lot of passion for that, for that thing. 
and at the end of the day you're not you're not going to die you, nothing bad is going to happen to you if you if you have a bad round or you have a bad performance in sport you've got to be able to put it into to perspective and actually realize no this is the thing that i love doing and if you've gotten into that position where you no longer love doing it then you might need to question why you are doing it if you don't enjoy it so from that you've got to try and enjoy it you've got to have a smile on your face you've got to think positive things maybe encouraging your partner all of these sort of things to help you to be more positive which i know all of you know how to be positive it's about putting it into action so i've given you three tips there i hope they're helpful if those tips don't make too much sense to you if you want to find out a little bit more from me then it'd be great to hear from you if you're not quite in the position where you want to reach out to me yet then have a like on my page by all means you can follow my material if you're interested or you can have a look at other sports psychology stuff which will give you more of an insight into how you can improve your performance so have a great day thanks for watching and good luck with your ventures